What is up everyone and welcome to hopefully the final part of this Mac Pro graphics card saga. Um, it's been an interesting little ride and it hasn't been my most successful troubleshooting session of all time. I'd like to thank everyone for their comments, their help, their suggestions. I know quite a lot of people got frustrated in part number two um, because I had not tried a lot of suggestions from part number one. But something that I failed to mention on camera is um, because of the nature of that problem and troubleshooting, it is quite hard sometimes to film every little step. And I did try quite a few different things to get it working. Target disk mode was one of the most popular suggestions. Everyone thought that was a good idea. And in theory, yes, it is a really good idea. Um, but for some reason, my Mac Pro would just not boot into target disk mode. And something else that made it very annoying to try was the fact that my MacBook Pro doesn't have Firewire, so I had to use a Mac Mini. And as you guys know, there's no keyboard, mouse, or monitor attached to either of my Mac Minis. So that made life very challenging in terms of cabling and that. And just after putting my new desk together and everything, well, not new desk, my new desk setup, it was a little bit uh, soul destroying to see everything go to shit, basically. Um, so all the cabling is still a little bit messy in that. But anyway, let's move on to this video. And this is the only tactic that I can use that is 100% flawless without tons and tons of um, fiddling about necessary. Uh, time is money in my life, guys, and it is in pretty much everyone's life. But for me at the moment, I'm very busy, so um, I didn't have a lot of time to fiddle around with my Mac Pro, and that is that is the bottom line. So Will, you all know him, Will the Plank, the tech plank, legendary guy, has sent me his uh, Radeon 2600 XT uh, Mac Pro 2008 original graphics card so that I can slot it in, sort out my drivers for my Nvidia card, take it out, put my Nvidia card back in, and boom, we will be back up and running. So I will be returning this card to Will, um, and the cool thing is, I'm already sending him out a parcel anyway, so it actually works out very, very well. Um, I'm not going to mention what the parcel is, just in case he wants to keep it a surprise. I doubt he does, um, but it is a, it's going to be a pretty cool little bundle. So I could have sent him his parcel days and days ago, um, well, maybe two, three days ago, but I wanted to wait until having the card. It was his idea, actually so that I could send both the card and the parcel back at the same time. So I'll slot this in with the items that he's uh, having off me and everything will be ideal. So, great packaging from Will. He obviously knows what he's doing. I mean, I used to watch his videos, you know, long before I even had uh, this channel. So, just a great guy. And to know that he watches my videos now is such a cool thing. Um, so, He's packed it in the original anti-static bag, or a anti-static bag. It's not the original because obviously he didn't get one with his. This this is the card that came in his Mac Pro. And here it is. I always loved the design of these cards. And I was gutted that I didn't get one of these when I originally bought my Mac Pro 2008. Because I had an X1900 XT. This card is a lot better and also a lot quieter. But by today's standards, this card isn't up to much. I know that Will has upgraded. Um, I'm not sure about operating system compatibility. I know Yosemite works with the 2600 XT. I just don't know um, how far it works, you know, in terms of acceleration and whatnot. So... Um, this is going to be a very quick little video today guys, it's just a case of slotting in this card to the Mac Pro and sorting out my drivers, taking it out, swapping them back over and I think we will be laughing after that, I really hope we will. So let's slot it in and see what we can do. So here we have the Mac Pro up on the desk guys, as you know I have a G5 door so I don't need to undo the latch to get the door off which is awesome in my opinion. Um, Probably wouldn't be a very attractive selling point of this machine, but um, selling the Mac Pro is something that I'm going to talk about very soon because uh, I may not have to sell it, which would be awesome. So, as you guys can see, there is the Mac Pro, and um, I probably should zoom into the graphics card section so you guys can see. So here we have it, guys. Not the cleanest, and I definitely need to clean this out, but the Hackintosh is just around the corner, so I'll probably clean this when I've finished using it as my day-to-day uh, -day desktop. This machine has lasted me so well, and even though there's nothing wrong with the hardware or the machine itself, it's all software related, um, I hope anyway, um, even though there's nothing wrong with the hardware, I'm still a little bit gutted that my Mac Pro messed up 
if you guys understand me, you know. It's never given me any hiccups before. I've never had any downtime on it. Uh, this is the Radeon 5450, by the way, guys, that I was uh, trying to troubleshoot with. So let's grab the 2600 XT. Here it is. Seeing a Mac Pro 2008 with this card in is nice and original. So yeah, like I was saying, it would have been nice to have um, a problem-free ride, but I don't feel too bad about it because it's not hardware related. So it's okay. I have a feeling that everything is going to be okay. So screwing this little bracket in. The reason I'm, you know, this card's in here temporarily, but the reason I'm putting the bracket back in is it's because I don't want the card to shift anywhere when I'm trying to plug it in. Uh, when I'm trying to plug the DVI in. Of course, this has got two DVI connections, so it supports dual displays, not triple displays. Um, I think that's one of the reasons why Will upgraded. Um, and I think he upgraded to a, a 640, but I can't quite remember what he said now. So there we are, job done. Let's replace the side panel. It's time to plug it all in. I'll be using a single DVI for my centre monitor to sort out troubleshooting and everything for this driver. I'm not even sure what I'm meant to do with the driver. I think I'm just meant to update it, guys, but I will double check. And another thing that I will do is uh, switch to using the OS X driver in the system preferences pane, even though I have heard that that toggle is uh, for aesthetic appeal only. It doesn't actually switch drivers, so I, I have no idea. I really have not done enough research on the whole scenario, guys, but like I say, I've had very, very little time and it's been uh, it's been quite stressful the whole process really and and even though I am a nerdy computer guy sorry guys I just won I just walked straight into the tripod even though I am a bit of a nerd um, I still really want my computers to work all the time you know but anyway whatever um, let's give it a bash all right guys moment of truth let me turn off these lights to help with the glare okay here we go let me close this as well because this is quite a dramatic moment of truth to see if we get any video. We should, in theory, get an Apple boot screen as well. So, three... Oh, hang on. <laughs> Just about to do my countdown and I haven't put the power cable in. Okay, so power cable's in, guys. Three, two, one, go. And straight away, I heard a noise that I've never heard before, which is the 2600 XT spin up. There's the bong. As you guys can see, ah, brilliant video, awesome sign, there we go, lovely. Uh, it's good to see my Mac Pro output again, and man, it's quite good to see a boot screen on the damn thing. So here we are. Boom, straight in. So, interestingly enough, guys, it says, um, now using OS X default graphics driver, the default OS X graphics driver is now being used because the NVIDIA web driver 343.02.02F02 is not compatible with your current OS. You'll be notified when a new version of... Ah, a new... <laughs> here we go. Brilliant. So, that was the initial message, but now there's a new driver available, which is exactly what I wanted. A new NVIDIA driver, version 343.02.02F03, is available. Click the install button to install the new version. So, this is cool. Um, so, obviously I want to install it. And we will continue. And let's just have a little look, actually, guys. Uh, displays. Yeah, ATI Radeon 2600 XT, 256 meg graphics. Cool. Continue. Agree. Install. Uh, when this software finishes installing, you must restart your computer. Are you sure you want to install the software now? Continue installation. So, this will install. Won't take two minutes, as you can see. And we'll restart with this graphics card in. Um, it will have then installed, and then we will shut down the machine and swap graphics cards, and when we boot back up, we should be in business. Technically, I think. Man, it's good to see this machine back up and running again. The MacBook Pro has been absolutely fantastic, guys. Uh, it's been quicker than this machine, of course. Uh, as you guys all know, the Retina MacBook Pro is faster than the Mac Pro 2008. However, the convenience factor, or more, more so the inconvenience factor of constantly plugging it in and unplugging it has been really annoying. Um, so much so that I would rather a slower machine that's plugged in all the time. 
simply as simply because as well I just can't leave it rendering and then go out or whatever because I take my MacBook Pro with me um, but having said that it was really really speedy with exporting and compressing and everything anyway so it didn't make much of a difference so we're restarting the system now and we haven't heard the second bong yet so just waiting for that there we go I am a little bit on edge guys I'm a bit nervous don't know how this is gonna work out but oh man will have saved the day I could have done it without this card, but do you know what? Will sent me the offer and I was like, man, that's going to be totally, totally the easiest option. So this is just magnificent. There we go. As you guys can see, we are there. And I still have a, a little snitch error, guys, by the way. And one thing I am going to do, I'm looking forward to having a fresh install on the Hackintosh, but one thing I definitely will do as soon as all my data is sorted out is fresh install Yosemite on this Mac Pro. There are a couple of little hiccups, but I have been running the same version of the OS now since Mountain Lion. The same, uh, the same install, sorry. Not the same version, obviously. Anyway, now we're going to shut down the machine. Like that. Wait for it to power down, I'm going to unplug everything, I'm going to swap out the graphics cards and then we're going to boot it back up to see if we get video. Now I won't be showing you the swapping process because it'll be exactly the same once more guys. So, bear with me, I'll be back in a second with a slightly different GPU installed. So, swapped in under a minute, the 2600 XT is out. Let's press that power button. Three, two, one, go. Here is the card. Massive thanks again, Will. It's surprising how hot it got in that little short space of time. So there we have the bong. Of course, this is a PC card, so um, we will not be seeing a boot screen. This is the kind of thing that I'm gonna have to get used to with the Hackintosh, guys. I was getting very annoyed at this scenario, but then I remembered that I'd made the, d the decision to have a Hackintosh as my main machine, which is gonna present all sorts of problems like this. Ah, bliss, bliss. Yeah, which is going to present all sorts of problems like this, um, but hopefully not that regularly. So, let's take a look. Displays. Boom. There it is. NVIDIA GeForce GT640, 1023 megabyte graphics, which is awesome, to say the least. There it is. So, Will has saved the day, guys. Absolutely massive thank you, Will. That is awesome, man. Um... Anything you need, favour-wise, in the future, just give me a shout. Um, you know, favour for a favour is so important, especially in this little community. It's absolutely awesome. So check out Will's video link, uh, video channel link, channel link in the, in the video description. Jesus Christ! Thank God it's a Friday, guys. I really, really need a weekend. Um, anyway, yeah, huge thanks, Will, and huge thanks to everyone else that helped me and gave me suggestions. Massive thank you to everyone for watching. This has been a cool little three-parter, even if it was a little bit all over the place. I am now going to rebuild my triple monitor setup and enjoy the use of my awesome, awesome, faithful, reliable tank of a machine, my Mac Pro 2008. Have a brilliant weekend, everyone, and I'll see you on Monday.